Welcome to Lesson 2. A home or office computer equipped with Weather Defender is a powerful weather tracking system. Dozens of layers present a comprehensive view of the local weather situation, ensuring that you never get caught unprepared when severe weather strikes. But what does it all mean? This tutorial will explain each of the layers on your map in simple terms you can understand. You will also learn how to access the other map that is included with this demo and use its features for tracking weather threats in other seasons. The default map, called Summer Weather, contains a collection of layers designed to track summertime weather threats. These include radar, satellite, lightning, and others. The map also contains geographic reference layers, like cities and streets, to give context to the weather layers. Looking at the Map Layers window, let's start at the top and work our way down. The System Layers group contains a few layers which are used internally by the application. Normally there is no need to control these, so we will move on. The Reference group contains geographic reference layers. These are cities and towns, major roads, that is highways and interstates, railroads, state outlines, county outlines, rivers, and city or urban boundaries. These layers are self-explanatory. However, it should be understood that the map's zoom level will often determine the amount of detail displayed by a particular geographic layer. For example, when zoomed out to a national scale, only the largest cities are displayed. Zooming in to an individual state, or closer, will cause smaller cities to be displayed. So if you turn on a layer and don't see something you expected, try zooming in to find it. Next, we have the Severe Weather group, containing the following layers. Storm Tracks. This layer will tell you where the storms are going to be up to one hour into the future, or three hours into the future in the commercial version. Activate this layer and then zoom in on a particular storm to see the path as a white line with estimated times of arrival. Hovering over the yellow icon at the start of the track will display a visual path of the storm along with specific details about that storm, like rainfall intensity and chance of hail. Lightning. This layer displays lightning strikes for the past hour. The most recent strikes are in white. Lightning strikes are displayed in a 150 by 150 mile region from the center of your map, or 300 by 300 mile region in the commercial version, and are updated every two minutes. Lightning has been called the underrated killer, up to 100 people die each year from lightning strikes, often because they didn't see the storm or hear the thunder. A lightning bolt can travel up to 10 miles away from the storm, so monitoring this layer is one of the most critical ways to increase your protection. Storm Watches Storm watches are government-issued watches for large areas where severe weather is expected to develop in the next four to six hours. These include tornado and severe thunderstorm watches. Using this layer will keep you informed long before the first storms even appear. Storm Warnings Storm warnings are government-issued warnings for small areas where severe weather is imminent or presently occurring. These can include tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, flash floods, or coastal marine hazards. By zooming in closer on a particular warning, you can read the forecaster's bulletin by clicking the blue icon displayed next to the warning. In the next group, we have two radar options. Local radar displays a radar image from the nearest monitoring station. If you reposition your map, this layer will automatically determine the nearest radar station and update with a new image. Put simply, radar measures the intensity of rainfall. This is measured in decibels, and the color scale is displayed in your map legend. Blue is usually nothing, ground clutter or high humidity close to the radar site. Green is light rain, up to a quarter inch per hour. Yellow is moderate rain, up to an inch per hour. Red is heavy rain and can be two to eight inches per hour. These would be thunderstorms. Anything beyond red is extreme, with more than 10 inches per hour, and likely large hail, maybe even tornadoes. National Composite Radar displays the same thing as local radar, except for the whole country. The colors mean the same thing. However, there is one drawback for this layer. It is lower resolution and therefore not as accurate as the local radar layer. But it is very helpful if you are watching the weather at a regional or national scale, and that's why we have provided it. 
Last but not least, the Base Map group contains several layers which comprise the background for your map. Satellite displays cloud imagery from orbiting satellites. Temperature displays a color temperature map. Color definitions are displayed in the Map Legend window. And lakes, topography, world countries, and lat-long grids are all for geographic reference and your viewing preference. That completes the overview for the summer weather map, but what if it's the middle of winter? Winter has its own hazards, and in Weather Defender, winter has its own map. To access the winter weather map in Weather Defender, click on the Shield menu and Open Map. Select Winter Weather from the file window and click Open. Weather Defender will now load the winter weather map. All of the geographic and reference layers are the same, but now the weather layers have changed to provide you with winter hazard details. Let's briefly look at these layers. Under Weather Hazards, we have the following. Snow Reports. During the winter months, this layer will provide you with reports on snow depth, freezing rain, extreme winds, and other winter hazards, as reported by actual field observers. Warnings. Instead of just tornado and severe thunderstorm warnings, this layer will provide you with government-issued warnings for every season. These can include blizzards, heavy snow, sleet, and many other types of warnings. Advisories. Advisories provide the longest-range government-issued notices about hazardous weather. These are often issued one or more days in advance of the expected threat, giving you ample time to prepare or stock up as the case may warrant. In the Base Map group, we have the Watches layer. Like warnings, this layer displays government-issued watches for all seasons. Watches are issued after advisories, but before warnings, usually within a few hours of the expected event. In the Radar group, instead of National Composite, we have Winter Radar. During the winter months, this layer will display snow, sleet, and rain all in the same image. As shown in the legend, Snow is depicted in the blue radar bands, sleet or freezing rain in pink, and rain in the familiar green, yellow, red bands. This concludes Lesson 2 on Maps and Layers. In this tutorial, you'll learn the meaning of each layer in simple terms, and how to access the winter weather map included with this demo. I'm sure you'll agree that with Weather Defender and these layers at your disposal, your chances of getting caught unprepared by severe weather decrease significantly. When you upgrade to the full retail version, you will get additional maps, each designed with unique and powerful weather tracking features to improve your level of protection against weather hazards. A summary of these maps will be provided in a future tutorial. Thanks for watching.